contributing, but let's talk a little bit before we jump into the practicalities about maybe just to convince parents that if you want to raise a child who's not anxious or depressed, we can't guarantee it, but let's talk about that. Well, I mean, for Bill and for me, the most important outcome of childhood and especially of adolescence is not where you go to college or even frankly, whether you go to college, it's having, it's having, it's, it's wiring the brain that you're going to have as an adult, right? That's it. I mean, because this, this is, you get one chance to create the brain, the adult, the adult brain that you're going to have, because we have all of this malleability, you know, this obviously prenatal to, you know, early ages, but then again, during adolescence, mm -hmm. and we're really trying to figure out what kind of brain do you want to carry out into real life? Do you want to carry one that's intrinsically motivated as opposed to I'm, I'm motivated simply because someone's riding my hide the whole time? Do I want one that, that's used to being tired and stressed and unhappy all the time? Because that will become the default setting of my brain. And so we, we see kids who get into the most you know, elite colleges in the country with a brain that is tired and stressed, depressed, and it's really hard to get out of that. I mean, the, the people who are experts on depression say that depression, it, 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 it scars the brain. It puts these grooves in your brain that, that it makes it so much more likely that you fall back into depression again and again and again throughout your life. And it, it, depression it may be the most debilitating psychological disorder that there is. And so as opposed to helping kids develop not only intrinsic motivation, but, but resilience and coping skills in the face of adversity. Because we also know the anxiety, what people will do is avoid the things that make them anxious. And what happens is the, their, their sphere of, of comfort gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And we don't want that. We want kids to develop coping skills that, that can then, they, they, then they, when they develop them, they generalize and they say, well, I can, I can maybe take on this or maybe I can take this. And the world in, in the sphere in which they feel confident working gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's, that's because our kids are with us until 18, and then they're going off to college with fistfuls of our money, and we want them to be ready to run their own lives, because that's, that's, that's what their job is, is children, is to figure out how to run my own life, and as parents, it's our job to foster that. How, how, how are you doing?